We are thrilled for our next guest to be joining us as Alex Alexiev is on the carpet. Ted Leontis joins us here live on the set. Ted, how are you? Hey guys, how are you? Black tie, styling. Well, I thought I was going to get married earlier today, but I ran from the Justice of the Peace nice. before they could say it. Nice. Well, I went yeah. with the red, and I, so did you. So I like Very it. red. We're rocking yep. the red. This is our first shows here live on the new Monumental Sports Network. Just talk about the network and the state of Monumental Sports and Entertainment right now. I want to talk about the most important photo that I've taken in a long time, a selfie with Sonny Milano. We love it. Okay, you gotta come in. That is a head of hair. I don't know how he does it every day, but you know, it doesn't, you can never tell if he's been out late, if he did anything before he came to the ring, because it always looks the always same. Always bedhead, it's fantastic. Well look, fans gotta get their hands on the Chia Planter that's gonna be coming out later that's, this season. Maybe that's a little promo there. Yep. All right, and I guess we're going to get a live look at Sonny Milano on the red carpet. <laughs> That's great. But, Ted, you've taken the photos with the fans. Just what does this mean to you to see all these fans and the players out here for another opening night? You know, this is my honest favorite, favorite time of the year. I mean, if you love sports, um, hockey, basketball about to start, baseball playoffs, football going on, weather's beautiful. Fans are all happy. The players are all handsome, right? But right now, everyone looks good. And, um, you know, this is the first season in a long, long time that I feel really, really relaxed. After reading all of the predictions, I feel absolutely no pressure, right? There's oh, there no is pressure no pressure at all. I wonder, this guy Ovechkin now was kind of an anchor before we couldn't win with him. And, yes. And now he's kind of dragging the team down. Yeah. We look at him, though, chasing the milestone and having a healthy Nick Backstrom back and John Carlson, the guys that have been around here for a long time. How important is it to you that these guys all finish their careers as Washington Capitals? I think it's important to them because it was important to them. It's important to me. And, you know, Alex, I think, said what he told me all the time which was um i can't focus on the record i have to focus on team success if the team plays well i'll score goals and um this year i think every player has a chip on the shoulder not so much because of um how the season ended last year but i think people are disrespecting the the core and um so it'll be interesting to see uh, can we stay healthy how do we do and um, Alex will get his goals. Well, one of the things that, that's really special about today is it finally feels like we're back to normal on F Street. Because last year, the red carpet didn't have the same amount of excitement and hardly had the same amount of people. These people have been out here since 2 p.m. today. It's absolutely jam-packed. It reminds me of the spring of 2018, and it feels normal. Now we go into with a healthy hockey team. Last year, it was like the walking wounded. There were players sick. There was COVID coming around again. Uh, how is it important to get things back to normal around here? Well, we have the greatest fans. I love our fans, and it's so good to just come out and see everyone. They go, hey, it's good to see you again. You know, let's go. And uh, I think you're right. COVID really had a hangover, and this is the first year that feels totally back to normal pre-COVID. Uh, no one's thinking about it. You don't see anybody in masks. Um, People are just focused on having a good time, being amongst their friends. Mm -hmm. And the reason that they're all out here, and we've had our greatest um, fan activation, we've had the most fans, most turnstile clicks in the buildings right now, uh, just because the fans are excited to be with one another and then come watch the game. You talked about it earlier, this team having a chip on their shoulder. Spencer Carver bringing the motto, something to prove. It's hanging in their dressing room. I feel the energy and excitement already. What have you made of the new head coach and your hiring of Carver and what he's done so far? Uh, it's a breath of fresh air right now. Yeah. I'd say that um, the guys are all walking around with a little extra bounce in their step. Um, I think, you know, you can have a a team and a system that leans in and lets you play to your skill and strengths and then another that's more defensive and very very focused on the the x's and o's and the real system play and you played for coaches like that and you know it sometimes gets results but sometimes you your voice gets lost and players really aren't enjoying coming to the ring and i sense this year um, so far that players are really happy to be skating. I think the fans are going to absolutely fall in love with Spencer because he's so personable. Every interview that he does, he's upbeat, he's informative. And then with the players, I don't put a whole lot of stock into practice when I go, but since I've been back and watching the practices, yeah. they're so up-tempo, 
and the players are so engaged. There's a, there's a higher speed, there's a higher pace, and it, it's it's not like uh, it's done every day. It's not routine now, and they look like they're up for everything. So I hope that is contagious, that personality, because it seems like Ovi and Backy and 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 Kuzi and the guys, everyone is totally bought in right now, and it's very exciting. Yeah, well, I saw Kuzi the other day, and. Um I read about him, and I was expecting to see a very drawn, sullen, upset young man. And I didn't see that at all. I saw someone who was really happy to be here, really committed, really wants to prove everyone wrong, show his talents. And I think that's what we need. We need the team to be leaning in. And, you know, they want to perform for the fans. They really, really understand and appreciate what they've built here. And as you said, fans are out here at 2 o'clock today. They can't wait to, for the game to start. Well, just like the fans are back to smiling, so are the players. So they, I think it's always important. And take for my career, when it's miserable going to the rink, when you're not happy, when there's always it feels like a dark cloud, there's, there seemed like, like there was a lot of drama last year. And right now, everyone's it's on the up. It, it's a great energy yeah, right now. It's a good, and, good way to put it. It's a very positive good energy. I feel the good energy. These guys are ready. Obi may be in season 19, but it feels like season one. I know. It's amazing, right? Amazing. That interview when um, when he was like, when did you come into the league? 2004. When were you born? 2004. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm He's old. playing with kids that watch him. The Capitals <laughs> and the Penguins opening night in our first shows here on Monumental Sports Network. Ted, thank you so much for Thanks. stopping Thanks. by. Thanks for doing thank a you. good job. Can't wait for the year. Thank you. Let's really go. appreciate the honest conversation.